Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Poly Gel Press by Tess. My name is Tessa or you can call me Tess. Uh, welcome. So normally on my channel I have DIY poly gel nail tutorials like lazy girl method, double bead method, how to apply poly gel, you know, from the beginning to the end. So I am a beginner. <clears throat> so if you're also a beginner and looking to like get some tips and tricks on how to apply poly gel at home, then this is your channel. Um, but like I said, I have had a nail allergy, so I have been doing a few other things here and there, like I did color my hair. So I am going to be doing a few other things like that, possibly a makeup tutorial. I'm not sure if I want to put my naked face out there. So maybe just like, let's like do my eyeshadow or something like that. So, so if that's something that you guys are interested in, I hope you hit that subscribe button down below and hang out with me. Today we are having a nail tutorial. So um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this video and doing these nails. Um, yeah i just want to thank all of my subscribers i have taken the time to hit that subscribe button down below you guys are so amazing i appreciate every single one of you and if you're new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you don't forget any excuse me so you don't miss any future videos um yeah what's up guys so today i am doing um i would say the last winter set of this winter season. I am using full cover tips as like half tips. I don't ever like file a well inside like most people do um, when they're using like full cover tips as half tips. I don't really find it necessary because I end up blending it um, into the nail bed anyways. So I'm just showing how I use full cover tips as half tips. Um, I'm going in now with my 80-80 grit um, hand file and I am just cleaning up the edges, um, sharpening the stiletto to a more pointier point because I like really pointy stiletto nails. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna let you watch me do this and I'll pop back up in just a second. I'm also going to be blending um, the nail into like, you know, the nail bed that I created. So yeah, I'll pop back up in just a few. Okay, so now that I'm done blending um, the nail tip into the nail bed or nail plate, whatever you would like to call it, um, we are making our own poly gel shade, I guess, today. So I took the clear Burano poly gel because it's my least favorite and I took this blue, that blue glitter that I got from Michaels. It's like a polyester glitter, I think. Um, and yeah, just mixed it up and tried my best to do this. It was my first time I've ever done this. Um, this poly gel is just very, very stiff. Like you definitely need to warm Burano's um, clear poly gel um, for whatever reason. It is super, 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 super thick compared to like all the other shades that they had in that kit. So anyways, um, I'm basically gonna do like a double bead method right here. I'm just gonna go in with a tip bead and then I go back in with a cuticle bead. And then I am going to um, encapsulate some of the glitters I also got from Hobby Lobby um, recently. There are some like wintry snowflakes, really pretty colors. So um, yeah, I don't know if I would really do this often, like make my own poly gel glitter shades because it, it is kind of messy and it is like a lot of work and you know there are so many options out there right now like if especially if you don't have an allergy like I mean the options are endless you can go on Amazon and there's so many affordable and really good <clears throat> excuse me poly gel kits that you can find that have really really amazing shades you know like McCart which I'm severely allergic to McCart and like SXC they're really really good too um so anyways, um, I do like Burano. I just, I really just don't like um, their clear poly gel. I just, I just think it's awful. I don't know if I'm really just used to the Acryl gel um, or whatnot. But anyways, here I go 
rambling on. So I just, um, I did one nail to test out to see how I liked it, um, how the poly gel would work. So these are the little glitters that I decided to use. They're so pretty and shiny. Um, so I went in with a three in one base coat and on the rest of the nails and cured that. And I'm just gonna go in and do the tip bead and the cuticle bead. And um, yeah, I do cap with aquil gel. I'll pop back up in just a few. I'm sorry that my hand keeps getting in the way guys because I'm a lefty Ugh, sometimes it just blocks out the whole thing <laughs> when I do like my back up stroke so anyways I just wanted to pop up again right here and just point out like how stiff the poly gel really is and this set actually took me a while because the poly gel was so stiff it I mean it was thick and stiff it just was not very you know maneuverable like it was just hard to manipulate it like i i usually don't have a hard time manipulating any type of poly gel but for some reason burano's i don't know if it was just this tube it is like it's just so stiff it's strange <laughs> even after mixing it up and mixing it up it's just still very stiff so anyways i am gonna continue to let you watch me do this and i'll pop back up in just a sec Okay, so at this point, I'm not necessarily trying to build like the perfect apex. It kind of looks like there's one already because of the curve, but I'm really just trying to get it to be all one, you know, smooth um, area for me to lay the glitters and the big snowflakes on. Um, so yeah, because I'm gonna kind of build the apex when I cap with the acryl gel. So sometimes I find it easier to do that than trying to like build the apex up with the color and then cap because sometimes when you file down you end up filing into the cap it, you can if there's not you know what I mean like the ratio is not correct so I find it actually a lot easier to use more clear sometimes like you know than the actual color poly gel like do a thin layer and then I'll build the apex when I cap and then I can file down and shape as much as I need to and not have to worry about hitting or going through what I just capped. I've I've learned that like um, like within the six months I've been doing nails, you know, over time that it's actually easier to do that and get your look, your nail look to be really clean um, that way. So, anyways, rambling again. So I just took um, the three in one um, base coat from Burano. I did a layer of that put in the little star hexy chunky glitters and the snowflakes and went ahead and cured that. And then I did another layer of um, that base coat over the top of that. So when I cap, there won't be like any little bubbles or anything that's like, you know, that didn't get around some of the chunky snowflakes. So 
Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch me do that and I'll pop back up in just a few. So I went ahead and did the thumb off camera like I do a lot of the times. Um, so I'm going in right now with the Savvy Lands Aquil Gel and I am just capping and creating um, an apex. So when I file down, it looked really, really nice and neat. So um, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun making this set um, just because I was experimenting and um, playing around, but my hand was seriously dead after trying to mix that poly gel because it was so stiff. And then like putting the glitter in there made it even more stiff. And, but it was interesting. I think it's like really neat if you really, really want like a custom um, poly gel, let's say like you have like an ultimate favorite glitter or something like that. Um, you know, so it is a really cool method. Um, I actually do prefer myself to use um, half tips I mean, excuse me, blah, 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 full cover tips as half tips. That's what I normally use like on myself, um, on a lot of my clients. Um, well, lately I've been doing a lot of lazy girl method. Well, Femi beauty method. I don't want to get called out for not giving credit. Um, but that method, um, is a, is a really good method for cutting down time with poly gel because sorry, my washing is beeping. If you guys hear that <laughs> doing laundry, um, poly gel sets could take up to like 10 hours. Like if you're doing things the correct way, it's going to take a long time. So like, don't beat your guys's self, like don't beat yourself up over it taking like forever to get it done because it really does. Like even people that are really experienced, like Femi Beauty says, sometimes her poly gel sets could take up to 10 hours to create when you're doing it like this way, like the actual way when you're laying it down and doing that way and encapsulating and doing different things, especially if you're color blocking or doing, you know, a V French, you know, all of that type of stuff. So poly gel takes way longer than acrylic because acrylic is self-setting and poly gel isn't. And you have to cure poly gel for, you know, up to two minutes sometimes per hand. And, you know, so anyway, but with the good thing with poly gel is that you have time to manipulate it. So, your filing shouldn't be as much as say like if you use acrylic and it just sets right away without you getting it level or you know laid down like good enough you might have to do so much more filing than you know you should but with poly gel you can really control that which it does take time to everything takes practice but um anyways here i go rambling like always so on the ring finger and the thumb i go ahead and i just do a rhinestone look so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and I do leave in filing. So you're gonna see me use my e-file. I do use ceramic bits as well as my hand file. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch me do this and I'll pop back up in just a few. Okay, this is like the third time I've recorded this little section, you guys. So 
This is a ceramic bit. I think it's like a combination between like a cuticle bit and like a debulking bit. It is a medium grit um, ceramic bit. I like to go around the cuticle area with it because it, it debulks it um, very easily um, without hurting your clients because of the rounded edge. Um, I know that I'm kind of like fast and rough with the hand, but if you're on an actual person, you want to definitely take your time and be very, you know, easy and careful. Um, so now I'm going in with my 8080 grit hand file. These are my like new most favorite anything. I prefer to actually shape down with a hand file still. Um, I do like to use my e-file and I'm getting better um, like every day um, with the control and all that, but I really do still prefer to use a hand file. So anyways, um, as you see, I switch my hands like back and forth and back and forth because I'm, I'm technically ambidextrous. Like I do everything right-handed except for like, um, like laying the poly gel and like um, writing everything else I literally do like with my right hand like brush my teeth and eat and play sports and instruments and it's really strange so um, it's really hard for me to like angle my wrist like most people will use like their one hand they go like this and then they go like to the side I, ha I have to switch both hands it's the only way I can hand file it I know it's really weird um, my sister who's a nail tech, she was like, that's really cool because I wish I could do that because my sides would be way more even, she thinks, you know. But anyways, she was teasing me the last time I did her nails because I literally switch back and forth between each hand, like when I file the left side and then when I go file the right side. So anyways, I'm rambling again. So now that I'm done, I went and had buffered, cleaned, it, cleaned um, all the dust off with my alcohol spray. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the rhinestone. So I'm gonna let you watch me do this and I'll pop back up right at the end. I just had to pop up real quick and say that I am using um, the Burano 3-in-1 base coat to adhere these stones and then I go over it with the top coat. I didn't want to use any more of like my really good nail glue on my practice hand so we're just using base coat. Yeah.
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I really, really appreciate every single one of you taking the time to click on my video. Um, it means so much to me. Um, we're to like 600, I think, and nine subscribers. So yay. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, bye guys.